What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn um, the next topic, which is copywriting and marketing, right? So we're going to learn uh, prompt engineering uh, specifically for copywriting and marketing, all right? So we're going to use this tool called Hell Analysis and make sure that you select this one, marketing copy. And for the main topic, just enter um, any products that you want to advertise. For example, I want to advertise my uh, chocolate or my chocolate bar something like this right so i'm selling chocolate bar right so yeah um that's going to be my product and for the subtopics if you want to add any just feel free to add you know any uh, additional descriptions or specifications about your product that you're selling but for me i'm just going to leave this empty all right um, use this writing styles. So you have several different um, options narrative, descriptive, persuasive, expository, or creative. Well, since this is going to be ad copy, so I'm going to go with uh, persuasive because I want uh, the tone to be uh, convincing the customers or the potential customers to purchase my product, right? And the next one here, right in this tone uh, formal, informal, optimistic, worried, friendly. Curious, assertive, encouraging, surprise, cooperative. I think it's going to be better if we write it in this style, uh, encouraging style. We want to encourage them to buy. And also include this keyword. Um, it's going to be delicious, uh, healthy. Uh, what else? Less sugar. You know, just add all um, keywords related to your uh, products that you're selling. What else? Delicious, healthy, less eager, chocolate. And maybe that's it. Or maybe I'm going to add one more uh, keyword. It's going to be cheap, right? Okay, so exclude this keyword. So if there are some keywords that you want to be excluded, then make sure that you add it here, but I don't want to. So I'm just gonna uh, leave this blank. Uh, reading grade level, uh, I think I don't want ChatGPT to use very complex vocabularies, right? I want my ad copy to be able to reach uh, as many audience as possible. So obviously I'm going to stick with grade three or maybe grade five, right? Makes, making sure um, all people can understand um, the ad copy here, right? Record word count. Um, well, for ad copy, I don't want it to be very long because when you have very long ad copy, it's not going to be very effective because people are lazy to read like the whole thing. So I'm just going to have maybe uh, 50 words and that's it. So let's scroll back up and this is going to be the prompt, right? So I'm just going to copy this from and then I'm going to click OK. And I'm just going to paste it here, right? So this is going to be uh, the prompt. All right, cool. So let's see what ChatGPT is going to generate us. Pretty cool. Indulge in the gold free pleasure of our delicious chocolate bars, savor the rates of healthy taste that will satisfy your cravings without comprising, compromising your health goals. All right, with less sugar and wholesome ingredients, it is the perfect treat for a gold free indulgence. Plus, our affordable price makes it a sweet deal. All right, very cool. Right, so now why don't we try another tool? So this time we're going to utilize Flow GPT to generate as ad copy, but specifically for Google Ads. All right, so I'm pretty sure like lots of you are uh, using Google Ads to advertise your products or your services. Then I'm gonna teach you step by step on how to uh, utilize this prop generator. All right, so you just select one of these. Um, I'm gonna go with the first one here, Google Ads at copy. So I'm just gonna select that. As you guys can see, this is the prompt, uh, definitely a pretty long prompt. So this prompt presents an opportunity to work uh, with a skilled Google Ads copywriter. As a user, you can provide the copywriter with a set of keywords that I intend to use for my Google Ads campaign. It will create eye catching and concise headlines description tailored to your keywords. All right, so Let's uh, click send. So we're going to run this prompt and see what we're going to get. All right, cool. Now it is still loading, so please be patient. While waiting, I'm um, just going to inform you that 
the same thing with the previous category. Um, I also provide you with a hundred uh, chat GPT prompts for copywriting and marketing here in Google Docs. So I'm going to download this as PDF and I'm going to upload it on Udemy resource folder so you can access this beautiful 100 prompts for copywriting and marketing, right? Okay, cool. So now uh, ChatGPT has generated us the uh, output as you guys can see. So great. Please provide me with a set of keywords for your Google Ads. Alright, so now it is still generating so we cannot type it. Alright, so it is still generating. I'm just gonna click regenerate. Um, for some reason there was an error, so I really apologize for that. I'm just gonna click regenerate. All right, so now it is regenerating the response. All right, so create what set of keywords would you like to add? Would you like to use for your Google Ads? Well, assuming we are still advertising like the same exact product that we did uh, previously, so I'm going to advertise my chocolate bar. Chocolate bar, uh, what else? Uh, cheap, or maybe just uh, less sugar, less sugar. Dialysis and healthy. All right, so those are four main keywords that will be used for the Google Ads uh, campaign. All right, okay, cool. So now, as you guys can see, um, ChatGPT is uh, generating like the next um, response. We'll see what we're going to get here, all right? All right, so hopefully, it doesn't take too long still loading I really apologize guys if it takes too long um, if it is too long then I might just skip this part and we'll return once the process is done because I don't want the video to be super long oh actually it's done all right, here are three headlines for your Google Ads. Cool, sweet, healthy, less sugar, and chocolate water. Satisfied with your cravings, healthy, chocolate, sinless, delight, delicious, less sugar. All right, so what would you like me to do next? Rewrite headlines, shorten headlines, or continue? Well, um, since I'm satisfied with these three headlines, I'm going to continue. So I'm gonna uh, click, I'm gonna enter C, all right? Great, here are two descriptions for your Google Ads. Indulge in a scrumptious uh, chocolate with less sugar and added health benefits. The second one is deliciousness redefined. Bitter into healthier chocolate bar with less sugar. What would you like me to do next? Free write descriptions, shorten descriptions, continue further. Well, I think I'm pretty satisfied too with these two descriptions, so I'm gonna continue. But again, if you're not really satisfied with uh, the output that you got, you might want to regenerate it. So just uh, enter A or B. Great. Do, ha do you have another set of keywords you would like to use for your Google Ads or shall I come up with a new set? Alright, so we'll see uh, the creativity of ChatGPT. So I'm going to let ChatGPT know that uh, they should uh, come up with their uh, new set of keywords, right? So that's going to be my reply. You shall come up with your new set. All right. So we'll see what we're going to get here. All right. So excited. Great. Here are three new keywords. Yoga mats, non-slip, comfortable, durable. Okay, cool. Uh, so that's how it works, guys. All right. So that's how you uh, utilize this Google Ads ad copy generations uh, tool to help you generating uh, high quality and effective um ad copy for your Google Ads campaign. All right, so that's how it works. Um, I think that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to still talk about marketing, but we're going to see it from different approach. All right, so I'll see you guys there. What's up guys, welcome back to the course. In this video, we're going to learn how to generate um, marketing strategies using ChatGPT. So in the previous video, we already learned uh, from engineering for 
uh, generating ad copy for our marketing campaign. But having high quality ad copy is not enough. We need to have effective marketing strategies, right? So um, we're going to utilize Flow GPT this time. And we're going to select um, this one, creating marketing strategy. Uh, but actually, you also have other options. You might also want to try this out, marketing genius challenge, right? Or maybe this one, creating a marketing plan. So there are like many different prompts available here, right? Um, just pick the one that you like the most. Or maybe if you don't know yet, like which one hit you like the most, it's going to be better if you try every single one of them. It's going to take a lot of time, but at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it because you're going to know, hey, this is actually the best model. And guess what? Uh, this will be the prompt that I will rely upon. So let's try this one first, creating a marketing strategy. As you guys can see, they have a very uh, long prompt here. Write out marketing strategy for a new startup that is selling um, so this is the part that you should remove and then uh, replace this part with your own product or your own service, all right? So you should customize this based on your need. I have about mm -hmm. available budget. So you need to replace this with your own budget, your current budget that is available for the business, all right? And you also need to replace this part. Marketing goal include uh, increasing sales, improving uh, brand awareness with your own goal. Obviously, every business uh, has different goal. Uh, whether you want to focus on brand awareness or you want to focus on generating more sales, it's totally, totally up to you, right? And you also need to set up your target audience. Okay, cool. So um, we're just going to uh, customize this based on our product, right? So let's say I am selling chocolate bar, right? So to be consistent, we're just going to stick with that one product, right? So I don't want to confuse you. Chocolate bar, available budget, $2 trillion. Obviously, I don't have that much money. I wouldn't be here if I have $2 trillion, guys. So I'm just gonna um, go with maybe $5,000. Yeah, just $5,000, right? Or maybe that's two months. I'm going to stick with $1,000, all right? Marketing goal. I want to generate uh, more sales, in, um, increasing sales. That's it. And the target audience, all right? Obviously, I want um, the ad to reach as many people as possible. But at the same time, it is very crucial for us to be realistic. Um, with only $1,000 budget, like you cannot expect to reach a million people at once. That's just impossible to happen, right? That's unrealistic, it's completely unrealistic. So I'm going to stick with, uh, you know, free realistic number. So maybe it's uh, 15,000, uh, 15,000 uh, chocolate lovers. That's it. And I'm going to click send. And now ChatGPT is going to generate us the prompt. I'm sorry, not the problem, but the output or the marketing strategies to be more specific. So, all right, cool. So as you guys can see, ChatGPT is generating, generating us the marketing strategies. Um, so it divided into like several different points here. Um, right, cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to scroll up and see what ChatGPT is generating us. So the first one here. Uh, marketing strategy for a chocolate bar. Uh, social media marketing. Create a social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right. And the second one is influencer marketing. And the third one here is content marketing. All right. So there are like many different types of marketing that we should try. The fourth one is email marketing. The fifth one here is local marketing. And wow, that's so beautiful. So GVD even breaks down um, the estimated return for it's um marketing model so for example like social media marketing can uh, give you return of eight hundred dollars uh influencer marketing can give you return of one thousand dollars but before going to this table we need to understand how much money that we're going to spend for um its marketing model right so you can see okay so um the roi percentage makes sense and it's worth to try. So yeah, that's uh, one of many uh, examples that you can do for you know finding marketing strategies for your business. 
if you want to try you know other models other prompts feel free to do it all right so i think that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video bye